welcome or welcome back to my channel this is Reena and if you're new here then hi uh, thanks a lot for tuning in today's Christmas makeup look has been inspired by Dennis Lava she is a pro makeup artist and I would be giving um, the video link in my description box so definitely check her out this is a very simple makeup look guys and it's apt for uh, festive times now that Christmas is coming it's not uh, a crime to be a little glowy right so you can see the glow on my eyes and also on my face and on my lips and you can see a glow everywhere so this is an ultra glowy juicy plumpy makeup look and if you guys want to know how I achieve this look then please continue watching guys have been my old subscriber and if you are following me religiously then you would know that I always start my makeup routine with uh, doing my eyebrows so for that I'm going to use my all-time favorite this is the sugar um, arch brow definer arch arrival brow definer in woody scooby um, I always tend to mess up the names guys so as usual all the product details will be in the description box so those who want to check it out can definitely check the description box. I'm going to fast forward the brow step because it's the same every time. The next step would be prepping my eyelids for eyeshadow application. For that I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in a medium bisque I think. Okay, to set the concealed areas, I'm using this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder and I'm just dusting a little on my eyelid area just to set the concealer in place. Okay, I've zoomed you guys a little bit closer. So the palette which I'm going to use is from Wet n Wild. It is their comfort zone palette. No, sorry, it's their Rosé in the Air palette and I'm going to actually choose the transition shades which are available here this one this one and I'm going to use a little bit of this dark brown as well I'm taking my blending brush and first I'm going to use this shade to define my crease a bit for this look I'm going to actually concentrate on the inner corner mostly and not on the outer corner um, just to create that contrast okay now I'm going to dip into this color to give a little more definition to the crease I'm going to dip into this rustic orange color Flicking the uh, shade outwards, making a small flick just like that. I'm actually taking this color a little over my crease as well because um, when we cut the crease, I want this color to be uh, visible. So what are your plans for this Christmas guys? Um, over here Bangalore is fully under curfew so we won't be able to go outside or I don't think we'll be even able to go to the church. Hmm, that's a really bad thing because we always attend the uh, service uh, which uh, runs during midnight so that you know we can start the day with uh, Oh, visiting God and just uh, the celebration starts from then but this time it is totally different don't know how it's gonna be so let me know guys what plans you actually have and how you are planning to celebrate Christmas this year are you with your family or not and uh, if you are doing something different then let me know guys because I have a toddler at home and I need to keep her a little bit entertained during Christmas so just let me know what you are actually planning to do during Christmas so the next step which I would be doing is cutting my crease I'm going to take the same illegal Pro Conceal Concealer like. 
I'm going to do a full cut crease this time. So this is how a full cut crease will look like. Now I'm going to do the same thing on my other eye as well. Let's try to get this as symmetric as possible guys. Now to set the concealer, um, we shall use this shade, this beige shade and we'll set the concealer in place. That is gonna be our eyelid shade as well. Okay, so this is how our eye look looks now. It looks a bit odd, I know, a little bit weird too, but uh, in the end it will all come together guys. Now, so I'm doing my other eye as well. Okay, we have completed both our eyelids now. Now is the fun part. I'm going to be applying glitter eyeliner and I'm going to apply from the inner corner till uh, the half of my eyelids. Not my eyelids, my crease. Let's move on to the eyeliner portion guys. For eyeliner, I'm taking this LA Girl, um, it's not LA Girl, it's LA Colors Eyeliner Pencil in brown. And I'm just going to wing out a little bit. We are, we are dreaming in the dark, we are not over this, I'm going to go with a uh, uh, brown color eyeshadow as well. So I'm going to take this eyeshadow and I'm going to apply it on top of my eyeliner. Okay, now to blend out the edges, you can actually use this color, this rustic orange, a little bit. I'm going to clean up my under eye area and then let's do our base and then just let's get back to the eyes. To correct my dark circles, I don't have a lot of dark circles but still some are peeping through so to correct that I'm going to use Miss Claire full coverage corrector. This is an orange corrector. I'm just going to apply a little uh, with the help of my ring finger, just a teeny tiny bit. And one thing guys, if you don't have any prominent dark circles, then this step is absolutely um, not necessary. I have a little bit darkness around my mouth. You can see right over here. I have a little bit of darkness over here and I have extremely bad dark circles too. So I'm using this orange corrector and just use it in limits guys. You actually don't need a lot of product. Don't apply a lot of product on your face. And then try to blend it out with even more products. So that's an unnecessary thing to do. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this orange concealer with a little bit of loose powder so that it doesn't mix with the um, other products which I'm going to use on top of the orange concealer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use LA Girl Pro Coverage, sorry LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer and apply a little bit on top of the orange corrector. For that extra glossy effect, I'm going to use Nykaa Strobe and Glow. This is in glazed bronze. I'm just using it on the high points of my face. I'm blending with my finger itself. Using a beauty blender to take off the excess product.
okay now I know that this looks a little heavy on the face um, I'm going to move ahead with the foundation the foundation which I'm using is from Pat. it's their HD foundation and I think it's in the shade 3.0 I'm using this foundation for the first time so I don't know I've heard that it's full coverage let's see taken three pumps of the foundation and going to apply it with the help of my beauty blender now first I'm going to warm it up okay first impressions of this product is mm, not quite very impressed because it's drying out so quickly and uh, this is of course a medium to full coverage foundation if I apply an extra layer of foundation then definitely it's gonna be full full coverage but I don't need that I need only a natural finish this is not giving me a natural finish too it's like as if I have applied something on my face but it's okay because this is festive season right so um, it's okay and now um, to actually uh, set this foundation in place I'm going to use this loose powder um, the same loose powder guys the one from uh, Maybelline Fit Me first I'm setting my under eye area and then my whole face that's the usual drill guys Now we have applied foundation on our neck as well so don't forget to set the neck too. You don't want your foundation to actually peep and crawl or crack in the neck area. So I know that you guys might be wondering that uh, I have already applied a liquid um, illuminator right and on top of that I am applying um, powder. So the thing about this liquid highlighter is that it's even peeping through with all these layers. Just look at the natural glow guys. I really like this um, illuminator slash highlighter from Nykaa. Okay now to bring back a little life to my face I'm going to bronze my face. For that I'm using this Wet n Wild contouring palette. And I'm fast forwarding this step because I have a detailed video on how I bronze my face. So if you guys haven't checked that yet, then definitely check it out. Okay, contouring is now finished. I'm going to move on with a blush. The blush which I'm using today is also from Sugar. It's their Contour D Force Mini Blush in Pink Pinnacle. And this is such a beautiful uh, pinkish uh, shade. It's not pinkish. It's kind of a dark burgundy shade and it's best suited for medium to dark skin tones. Mm, so I'm taking this powder brush to apply the blush. And it's hell pigmented guys so be careful when you're applying this blush. Okay now I'm going to highlight my face a little bit more. For that I'm using Wet n Wild Highlighter. This is in Precious Petals. This is a wonderful highlighter guys. This actually gives a very natural effect. Layer the highlighter very carefully guys because we have already given the liquid illuminator underneath the liquid highlighter actually. Not illuminator. I don't know why I'm saying it as an illuminator. Okay, that's it for the highlighting. I'm going to blend everything now with the help of my beauty blender. Okay, let's complete our under eye area. So for that, I'm going to, you know, spoke out just using this palette. I'm going to take out these both shades. This one and this one and I'm going to smoke the under eye area. So for my inner corner, I'm actually going to use this shade, this champagne shade. And I'm going to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner. Okay, 
Okay, now let's move on to lipstick. For lipstick, I'm taking Iba Halal um, in the shade Pure Red. This is a wonderful red color shade, guys, with blue undertones, and it would be really uh, so beautiful on all skin tones. I'm going to apply this red color shade first uh, with my uh, lippy brush. So the final step would be locking our makeup in place. So for that I'm going to use Makeup Fixer by uh, Swiss Beauty. This actually has aloe vera with vitamin E so it's awesome as a fixer. I'm going to spritz a little bit and then I'm just going to uh, dry it out. So in the meanwhile I just went ahead and popped on some lashes and since this is a glam look I have applied dramatic lashes and uh, let me know if this suits my face guys. Um, I don't think I would be going out wearing lashes like these but it's uh, it's nice to you know switch up a few things here and there uh, once in a while so that we'll actually get to know what we're comfortable in and yeah so this is the finished look guys And if you like this look then don't forget to give me a huge 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 thumbs up and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel then what are you waiting for guys if you want to get subscribed to my channel all you have to do is click on that red color subscribe button and turn that button to gray and then just uh, hit on that small bell icon too which is right next to the subscribe button so what this will actually do is it will send you a notification whenever I upload new videos so that you would be um, you know updated with me if you guys think that this video is worth a share then definitely share this with your friends guys and I hope you enjoy Christmas and do let me know if you are going to create a similar look like this and tag me if you are creating this look so um, I'll see you guys in my next video until then it's bye from Rina take care and be safe